That may not look like it, Kelly, but that's a wishbone from a turkey. How can you tie a bone in a knot? Well, by treating it in a special way. And in fact, I'll show you how you can do that yourself. And when you try to make a wish with that, nobody gets it. Yeah. In fact, here's what you do. You soak turkey or, or a chicken bone in this. Smell it. Oh, it's vinegar. Yeah, it's vinegar. Here, now take the tongs and take out one of those great big turkey bones. Okay. Got it? Yeah. Okay, here. There. You can put it down on this tray. Okay. Now, here's what a turkey bone normally would be like. Yes, it's hard. It lasts and hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why it's hard is there are cells in here that contain calcium. calcium. That's what makes your bones hard, too, the calcium. Yeah. And when you put it in the vinegar, or you can put it in other kinds of acid, too, if you have them yeah. around, why well, then you dissolve away some of the calcium. So then it becomes like that. It feels like rubber. Yes. It's more like a tendon or, 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 or a sinew, you know, a sinewy yeah. sort of tissue like. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now that's what happens to the big bones, and that would take, oh, about a week. Here's one from a chicken. It feels more rubbery. Yeah. Okay, so here's, here's the one that's the most fun. That's the wishbone. Here's a normal one. Okay. You making a wish? Okay. You got your wish. However, when you soak the bone in vinegar for a week or so, you, you can see, tie it in a knot. You can tie it in a knot instead of making a wish. There you go. Very good.